If we scroll down, really interesting. Again, the personas are a lot more detailed. There are more of them and the use cases are very specific, but on the GPT-5 model, the use cases are very feature centric. And on the GPT-4 model, they're very like what I'm trying to achieve as a user specific. I thought it was really interesting to just kind of compare and contrast both of these. Again, GPT-5, very detailed, where I love GPT-5 and prefer it over the 4.1 model is the functional requirements are exceptional. The formatting got a little weird, but you can see here, there's a prioritized list in a table. There's lots of details about soft warnings, hard warnings. These are just the things that the best engineers are gonna ask you about how this stuff works. And so if you have a good idea and you really just need to get down to what are the technical implementation of this feature, I think GPT-5 is tremendously better at that than GPT-4, which again, is like actually pretty light on functional requirements.